If you didn't notice already, I really like playing STP Skill Laboratory. I even started a second channel sort of accidentally where I upload videos about it, but that doesn't mean that it's perfect, actually far from it. I even made a whole video about how it's kinda bad, and I could end it there and sit on my chair and cry, but turns out I have some game dev experience. So last year I decided to make an SL clone with my own little non-STP twist. If you don't know, SL is a really complicated game, but in a very big nutshell, you play as different factions with different objectives that range from killing, escaping, escorting, killing. When you die, you die, and you lose all your items, progress, and pretty much everything. Then you have to wait for up to 5 minutes to respawn. You might think that that is stupid. The main gimmick of a cell are the SCPs. They are these big scary monsters with big scary health bars that have different abilities and want to kill. Then also throw in some toys to play with, a big facility, and there you go, that's how you make a cell. So I've decided to replace the SCPs with armors that have a smaller health bar but can respawn. But they are actually better than the SCPs because if you kill them, they leave behind their bodies. And as you might guess, you can go inside them and use their abilities while having a little bit more protection. To actually kill them, you have to flip a switch at their spawn. Of course, it doesn't happen instantly and they will get notified when that happens. While their assembly station is in the shutdown process, they cannot respawn, but they still can reset the switch or have someone else do it for them. This game will also feature guns. This is actually the feature I'm going to work on in the next devlog. So be sure to join my army of subscriber and let me unlock the community tab so that I could spam your feed with you Polls. Anyways, I'm still figuring out what the gunplay will look like, but it will most likely be a tactical shooter like SL. But I do want to dial some values a little bit down, because holy garbage, what is going on with that crosshair? Now, I've been working on this thing for over a year, so I should have something to show, right? Yeah, about that. Because I needed to somehow learn how to make videos consistently on my second channel, and I kept working on a video for this one that I never finished, the progress was rather slow. Not to mention that multiplayer games are really boring to make at the beginning. However, recently I've managed to complete all of the basic boring behind the scenes garbage, so now I will actually have something to show when I'm working on something. Hopefully. Currently, there is a functioning roll system, quite an advanced hot swappable movement system, which I had to make because of the suits, very flexible model synchronization, which theoretically will allow plugin makers to even make prop hunt. That is, if anyone will make plugins for this game. Inventory exists, and guns? Let's not talk about them. I can open a door, and keycards are functioning. Some things will be rewritten, but for now it's good enough. I'm planning to add 4 suits into the game. I'm not gonna unveil everything right off the bat, so you have to be patient. Currently, I've added a very basic version of Armor Suit Delta, which literally allows you to transform into a car. I still don't have a model for it, so... Also, if anyone wants to know, I am in the process of adding gamepad support to my input system, so yes, you will be able to play this game with a steering wheel. Also, because this is the first devlog, I'm gonna answer some really basic questions. What will be the price? 3. When will it come out? What do you expect me to say? I have a grey wall that destroys Bitrate and Soul Goodman. Maybe in like 10 devlogs or so I will have an answer, but for now just imagine this game doesn't even exist. Will it have STPs? No. What will the performance be like? If you don't know, I believe in accessibility and I even add settings menus to my game jam games. I will try keeping the game running smoothly, but if I will fail, expect to have 300 different settings even in the in-game pause menu. By the way, I hate you, Norfoot. Also, this game won't have stupid default Unity icons of all things. Takes literally two seconds to get rid of them. With all that said, it's time to start working on this thing. I'm gonna be adding mechanics one by one until I have a playable version and see if the game will even be fun. If that's not the case, I will still have a very advanced networking base for making future games. I may also test out live streaming on this channel so that you could watch me make progress live. But for now, that's it. I have nothing else to say. Go away!